So, Starfield, the space game that we've all been waiting for is almost out, or maybe it already is out if you pre-ordered it, but the question on everyone's minds is, how is it? Xbox hasn't got a lot to show for itself in the way of exclusives, but it was really looking like Starfield could change that and it could be like the exception to that, right? If Bethesda pulled it off. And that's the thing about these hotly anticipated games. They can go one of two ways, especially if it's so large like Starfield. It can either be incredible or, especially knowing Bethesda, it could be a buggy, broken mess. And because it is so large, feel empty. But we are both so pleased to inform you that Starfield is amazing man i just don't even know where to start with starfield honestly it is so huge that there is just there's no way that we could go over everything without making it a whole season and that wouldn't even be going into the fact that everybody's experience is going to be so vastly different hence why this is a first impressions rather than a full review the story's only about 30 hours long but i honestly feel like you would have to play starfield for over a hundred hours in order to give it a proper review do you guys remember in that starfield preview we got a while ago where they were talking about how many different ways you can play they weren't exaggerating. In fact, they might have undermined it a little bit, actually. One lady was just going around stealing sandwiches. And you really can do that for hundreds of hours if you want to. Or you could become a drug dealer. Go to the dark side and become an epic evil space pirate. You can even go around stealing harvested organs and sell them as a side gig. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> I'm going the dark road in this game. Let's go. Space pirates, organ harvesting, intergalactic mercenary. Yes. That is awesome, but also slightly concerning. That it was the organs then. Yeah, that's what took me over point. the edge, yeah. Say, you're full of organs, aren't you? Why, yes. <laughs> me. You guys don't need both your kidneys, right? You should just send one over to some kind of gaming. Don't do that. <laughs> don't, please. Don't do that. <laughs> the point is, you can just create a whole second life in Starfield. You can live and breathe this virtual reality of a game, and it is pretty cool. The universe in Starfield is honestly your oyster and it's all open as well. So forget about everything you know about open world games. This is like an open universe game. There is a small loading scene when you land your ship on a planet, but I feel like we can give that a pass because it really still feels like an open world experience. And once you get to a planet, you can do whatever you want there as well. You could set up a little base and mine ore, or farm creatures, or run around exploring, look for sandwiches, <laughs> whatever. Each planet is totally unique, and you can spend your entire playthrough just exploring them and not even touching the main story missions. But you are going to want to because the story is epic. Now, we usually don't like going into story in our reviews. I know this is a, like an impressions video, but this is like kind of a mini review thing. The point is, we don't really like to tell you much because it's better that you experience it for yourself and not go in with these preconceived notions that we might tell you. But what we will tell you is that it's really, really good. I know that's kind of nothing, but that's all, that's all you're getting. <laughs> The best part is that you have so much control over the story and your actions. There are several branching decisions you can make that drastically alter the course of the whole game, which I find really awesome, especially in terms of replayability. Not that Starfield needs more replayability with its whole like universe, but if you want to start over, it's, it's going to be different. It's good. No, it's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. Mm. 
The combat is a little different than what we usually play. I normally prefer using magic or some kind of epic sword to slay my enemies, but Starfield is more of a classic shooter in terms of combat. You can choose to make it first person or third person to suit your playstyle though, which I think is a nice touch. I personally play in third person and it really has warmed me up to shooters a lot. I actually really do enjoy the combat a lot. Yeah, so you're a fan of the genre now, you think? Mm. Or getting there at least? Yeah, nice. I'm still I'm still too much of a wuss to try Resident Evil though, so don't even try it. <laughs> don't even try it. Performance. We know this is the question on everyone's mind, but Starfield is near flawless, man. The frames are super stable, which is important in a shooter. And Bethesda, good old bug Bethesda, they've been known to release some buggy trash, maybe not trash, but buggy messes in the past that need like a billion patches. Starfield is not one of those. And I'm just going to go off Laura's script here for a second and say that that's thanks to Microsoft, man. If Microsoft hadn't have purchased Bethesda, then they wouldn't have given them an extra year in development. Remember it got delayed last year? They wouldn't have given them that extra year for polish. Exclusives are great. Mm. Delays also, just stop shitting on delays because we get really like better, it, they make better <laughs> games, they do. It, there's no reason why they yeah. should be bad. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's disappointing if you don't get the game when you want it. But in every single other respect, it's a good thing. Mm -hmm. So let's just look at the silver lining. Absolutely. So I didn't experience any bugs, but there was this time that oh, I got stuck and I couldn't complete my mission because I needed to talk to someone. And when I went downstairs, every single person in the building I was in and the town I was in, they were all like running around like crazy and trying to kill me. So I couldn't talk to her because she was in panic mode and I I couldn't proceed with the story or with anything. I had to go to jail and reload three times before everything went back to normal. And I really want to know what that was about. There is something in me that thinks like maybe it was a bug, but maybe it was just something that I did. So if any of you guys play Starfield and if you experience anything like that, please comment below because I really want to know and you get bonus points if you figure out why. A lot of people don't go over music or sound design in their reviews, but we think it's actually really important to include. And Starfield does a really good job in that department as well. It's full of like mystical sounds and ambient noises and god chords that like definitely enhance the like wonder and like discovery of exploring a new universe. Oh man, those god chords, dude. So I don't know if you guys know what a god chord is, but it's basically like that that's it like when someone comes back to life in a movie you know you have that sound that's a god chord they extrude epicness yeah they sound really big mm -hmm. and full and ah, but i am so sick of hearing ah, the like Oh man, the last week and a half straight, it's all I've been hearing. Freaking God chords, it's man. It's just been echoing down our halls. Oh, I'm so over it. I mean, look, they do, they sound epic and they're cool, but they, they kind of get a bit cheesy if you use them too much. And I just, but, you know, I, I missed out on a lot of the ambient sounds because I wasn't around for the whole thing, but tone down the God chords. That's just, that's just my... It'll all make sense. No, I'm sick of... <laughs> <laughs> so there is one thing that I don't like about Starfield. My one complaint out of all of the different things you can do, mechanics that there are, I really dislike the space fight simulations. I really don't like the space fight mechanics. There's... <sighs> So I find it really difficult to dodge the enemy ships because once they get behind you, it's really hard to get out of their line of sights because they lock onto you. And then when I'm trying to flip over to like follow one of the other ships and get them in my sights, I just get a little bit dizzy because I feel like I'm just like flipping around. They're always like right here at the edge of my peripherals, but I can't quite get them into my scope, you know? So it kind of like gives me a little bit of motion sickness and... 
I'm not really a huge fan of it. I need to get into the ship building side of things because I kind of just ignored the space fights for the whole game but I don't recommend doing that because you do need to engage in some space fights for the main story but you know out of all the mechanics and things that there are in Starfield it's just my one sort of complaint it's just not for you yeah do you think it could be for other people though absolutely and it's definitely important that the space fights are there because it's like a space exploration game so mm. how it's not boring... like you just don't want them no I I can understand their value mm. But personally, I just find them not good. No. Fair enough. No. Fair enough. So that burning question that we were talking about earlier, did Bethesda pull off the space game Starfield? Heck yes, they did. The game is so massive, it's almost overwhelming, but it's also not because the main story is only 30 hours long. So if you weren't into spending 200 hours in a game, you can just love it and leave it tap and get the story is amazing the gameplay is amazing the performance is amazing what more could you want laura actually wrote this review i haven't played starfield yet at all because it's not not my copy of starfield to play unfortunately Jealous. Yeah. i've seen a little bit caught glimpses i've heard a lot of god chords it you couldn't already tell by, by my little input there. But I am so unbelievably hyped to give this thing a shot. It's about time that the Xbox series had that one big exclusive, that one system seller, you know? It's been a long time since Halo, man. They've finally got it. Here it is. Starfield is going to sell them Xboxes. It's what not just Microsoft, but the game industry needed. Mm -hmm. That's right. So let us know if you play Starfield and if you do, do you think it's going to win Game of the Year? Because there is a lot of stiff competition when it comes to Game of the Year and it definitely has potential. Don't forget to subscribe down below for more video game shenanigans and we'll see you next week. We do normally do Nintendo related content here on Some Kind of Gaming, but Occasionally Laura picks up a nice copy of some new cool game that's coming out. We'd be stupid not to make a video on it, right? And also, we have all the consoles and a PC and we play all of them. This is a good excuse to talk about something different, isn't it? It is. Yeah, it's a nice time. Anyways, thanks for sticking around. Yeah. If you're new, subscribe. If not, thanks for sticking around again. Bye. Bye. <laughs> but they really are in a- again, I kind of just ignored it. I farted. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't think it was going to come out, but it came out. <sighs>